In today's video, we'll be counting down the top 10 harmful foods that can do some serious damage to your liver over time. Your liver is super important. It filters toxins, produces bile to help digest fats, regulates blood sugar, and so much more. So you definitely want to keep it healthy. Unfortunately, a lot of foods we eat on a regular basis can cause inflammation and liver damage when consumed in excess. The good news is that most of these foods are perfectly fine in moderation. But eaten too often, or in large portions, they can seriously impact liver health. We'll talk about what exactly makes these foods so taxing on the liver and some simple swaps you can start making today. Be sure to watch until the end because there's one food that not too many people are aware of. So if you're ready, let's jump in. Number 10. Refined Carbohydrates First up is refined or processed grains like white bread, pasta, rice, baked goods, and cereals. These refined carbs are low in fiber but high in sugar. Without fiber to slow digestion, the sugars get absorbed really quickly into the bloodstream. This causes a spike in blood sugar and insulin. Over time, this can lead to insulin resistance, which drives fat storage in the liver. The high glycemic impact from these refined carbs also increases inflammation. Chronic inflammation is damaging to the liver because it can lead to scarring and cell damage over time. The fix? Trade out processed grains for whole grain versions whenever possible. Look for words like whole wheat or whole grain on ingredient labels. The fiber will help mitigate blood sugar spikes. Ancient grains like quinoa, barley, and farro are also great substitutes that provide more nutrients. Number 9. Fructose Sweetened Beverages Speaking of blood sugar spikes, sweetened beverages like soda, fruit juice, and energy drinks are some of the biggest offenders. They deliver a heavy dose of fructose, which is fruit sugar, and it wreaks havoc on the liver by getting turned into fat. Here's what happens. Fructose gets metabolized directly by the liver. When there's too much floating around, the liver starts converting that fructose to fat to get it out of the bloodstream. Over time, all this added fat production causes a fatty liver. Studies show that people who consume sugary drinks regularly face a much higher risk of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So what should you drink instead? Plain water is always best. But if you're looking for something with flavor, have unsweetened teas, sparkling water with a squeeze of citrus juice, or dilute some 100% fruit juice with water. Getting those added sugars under control is crucial for liver health. Number 8. Conventional Dairy Now this one may be surprising to some, but conventional dairy products like milk, cheese, ice cream, and yogurt can negatively impact liver health due to hormones, antibiotics, and pesticides often found in conventionally raised dairy cows. The growth hormones given to many dairy cows to increase milk production have been linked to liver inflammation and disease. Some of the antibiotics and medications used in dairy cows can also be toxic to the liver with regular exposure over time and pesticides found in animal fat tends to wind up stored in human liver tissue. The fix here is relatively simple. Choose organic dairy whenever possible to avoid those nasty chemicals and hormones. High-quality Greek yogurt and hard cheeses are also usually lower in hormones. Number 7. Excess Sodium Moving on down our list to number 7. Sodium, usually from salt. Consuming excess sodium puts a lot of strain on the liver. Here's why. Eating too much sodium causes the body to retain more fluid to dilute the sodium levels. This makes the liver's job of filtering blood much more demanding. It also drives up blood pressure, which the liver has to work hard to regulate too. Overworking the liver like this leaves it more vulnerable to damage and disease. Studies suggest close links between excess sodium intake and incidence of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So how much sodium is too much exactly? Well, the American Heart Association recommends keeping it under 2,300 mg per day. Ideal intake is closer to just 1,500 mg if you can manage it. 
Start paying closer attention to labels and choosing low-sodium versions of items like soups, sauces, and packaged meals. Limiting processed foods overall automatically reduces sodium intake, too. Use fresh herbs and spices to flavor food instead of salt whenever you can. Number 6. Conventional Red Meat Up next is conventional red meat, meaning non-organic beef, lamb, and pork. These meats can be problematic for the liver because of added hormones, the parasite risk, environmental toxins, and high iron levels. Let's break those down. Like dairy cows, conventionally raised cattle are often given growth hormones and antibiotics that aren't healthy for long-term human consumption. The liver bears the burden of trying to clear these hormones and medications out of the body. Parasites can also be transmitted to humans eating undercooked pork or beef, which negatively impact liver health. Additionally, the environmental toxins and pesticides cattle consume through animal feed tend to get stored in their fat and meat. This brings up the high saturated fat content, as the liver tries to process excess fat and environmental toxins, it leads to inflammation. Lastly, conventionally raised red meat tends to be very high in iron, which can cause oxidative damage to liver cells over time. The fix? Choose lean organic, grass-fed varieties of beef and pork if you don't want to cut out red meat completely. And be sure to cook it thoroughly to kill any parasites. Before we go on to the next harmful food, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We can continue to help more people by producing these free health videos thanks to your support. Make sure you don't miss anything important by watching all the way to the end. Number 5. Fried and Processed Foods Coming in at number 5 is all kinds of fried and heavily processed convenience foods. Think fast food, frozen meals, chips, donuts, candy bars, and the like. What all these foods have in common? Any redeeming nutritional value whatsoever. The problem is that these foods are absolutely loaded with fat, salt, and chemical additives, all things that make the liver work way harder than necessary. Eating too many processed foods too often taxes the liver's natural detoxification systems. These nutrient-poor foods can also lead to inflammation, obesity, high cholesterol and increased toxin exposure, all risk factors for fatty liver disease and long-term liver damage. Here's the takeaway. Avoid eating processed junk foods as your everyday meals. Save those heavily fried, salty treats for a once-in-a-while indulgence. Fuel your body with whole, nutrient-dense foods like fruits, veggies, legumes, whole grains, healthy proteins, and healthy fats instead for proper liver care. Number 4. Alcohol and Tylenol No huge surprises here. Regular alcohol consumption combined with acetaminophen, Tylenol, lands at number 4. We all know alcohol alone takes a major toll on the liver when people overconsume. Add acetaminophen into the mix, and it amplifies the liver damage significantly. Acetaminophen is already taxing for the liver to metabolize and clear on its own. When combined with alcohol, acetaminophen gets converted into several very damaging compounds that accelerate liver cell death. One study found that heavy drinkers who used acetaminophen extensively had 63% higher risk of eventual liver failure or disease as a result. Scary stuff. So what's the fix? If you do drink alcohol, moderate your consumption and do not exceed more than one to two drinks per day maximum. Avoid taking acetaminophen pain relievers while drinking or the day after drinking whenever possible. Opt for ibuprofen instead to give your liver a break. Number 3. Margarine and Shortening Alright, number 3. We have all kinds of margarines, vegetable shortening, and intrasterified fats, which are found in many processed foods. You're probably wondering, what exactly are intrasterified fats and why are they so bad? Let me explain. Intrasterified fats are unsaturated liquid oils that have been chemically extracted and combined with hydrogen to make them spreadable solids, like margarine or shortening. Here's the problem. These fats are molecularly similar to trans fats, 
which have clearly been shown to cause liver inflammation and fatty liver disease. But U.S. food labels get to classify these intrasterified fats as zero trans fats. Very misleading for consumers. Even though technically they are not the same chemically, metabolically within the body, intrasterified fats promote nearly identical health damage as trans fats. These ultra-processed fats overwhelm the liver's bowel production, which hurts our ability to effectively digest fats. Margarines made with intrasterified fats are especially damaging. The solution? Always check labels and avoid products with intrasterified fats or fully hydrogenated oils in the ingredients list. Choose real butter or expeller-pressed olive oil whenever possible instead for liver health. Number 2. Added Sugars All right, we've made it down to the final two liver-damaging foods. Number two is all the added sugars hiding out in so many foods these days. Concentrated sweeteners like high fructose corn syrup, cane sugar, brown rice syrup, etc. that food manufacturers sneak into everything to make it taste better. We've touched on this already a bit with sweetened beverages and refined carbs. But added sugars really deserve their own spotlight because excessive intake stresses the liver in so many ways. First, it promotes inflammation throughout the body and especially in liver cells. Next, an overload of sugar gets converted directly into liver fat, which can eventually lead to fatty liver disease. Excess sugar also drives insulin resistance over time, further accelerating fat production. Additionally, when the liver is bogged down trying to metabolize high amounts of fructose from added sugars, it has way less capacity to perform other vital jobs like removing environmental toxins from the bloodstream. The key here is moderation. Aim to cap added sugar intake to just 6 teaspoons or less per day for women and 9 teaspoons for men. Read those nutrition labels carefully and choose foods with limited or no added sugars whenever possible. Number 1. Excessive Omega-6 Fatty Acids Okay. We finally made it to number one, the absolute worst food ingredient for long-term liver health, too many omega-6 fatty acids. You're probably thinking, wait, aren't omega-6 essential healthy fats we're supposed to eat? Well, yes, omega-6 are technically considered essential nutrients. But the key words here are excess and imbalance. Modern diets contain a much higher ratio of inflammatory omega-6 fats compared to anti-inflammatory omega-3. Think mass-produced cooking oils made with corn, soy, safflower, sunflower, and cottonseed. This imbalance creates system-wide inflammation and oxidative damage to liver cells. Studies now show clear connections between high omega-6 intake and development of serious liver disease. Here's the key takeaway. Radically limit consumption of those mass-manufactured oils that are so high in omega-6. Instead, choose olive oil, avocado oil, walnut oil, flax oil for cooking and dressings. And up your intake of omega-3 rich foods like fatty fish, chia seeds, walnuts, and leafy greens to help restore balance between omega-3 and omega-6 for optimal liver health. We made it through all 10 harmful foods that can do some serious damage to your liver over time if you're not careful. The moral of the story? What we put onto our plates on a regular basis really matters more than we realize. But don't get overwhelmed. Start making little substitutions wherever you can and build healthier habits over time. Your liver will thank you. Before you leave, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We are able to keep producing these free health videos thanks to your support. Stay healthy and take care. Click on our channel logo shown on your screen to subscribe now or watch this other health video.